Corrosion is categorized into common types to aid in awareness and identification. Surface corrosion is most common and the starting point of corrosion. Surface corrosion results from a direct chemical attack on a metal surface that proceeds uniformly over the entire exposed surface. Bare metals that are not protected will quickly exhibit surface corrosion. When a surface protection layer such as paint is scratched or compromised, it is a likely starting point for surface corrosion. Extreme heat will accelerate surface corrosion and is the reason why exhaust pipes and engine components commonly exhibit surface corrosion even in the absence of obvious moisture. Dissimilar metal corrosion or galvanic corrosion occurs when different metals are in contact with each other. For example, aluminum attached to steel will exhibit galvanic corrosion when moisture is present. The potential for galvanic corrosion corresponds to the type of metals that are in contact with each other. The metals listed on top of the galvanic chart are anodic metals, which have the highest tendency to corrode. The metals at the bottom of the graphic or cathodic metals, which have the least tendency to corrode. While the maintainer and operator has little or no control over the metals used in the design of the equipment, it is important to understand that the potential for galvanic corrosion is greatest when the two metals are well separated from each other on the galvanic chart. Fretting corrosion occurs at contact areas between metals under load and subject to vibration. The vibration and load does not have to be significant for fretting corrosion to occur. The corrosion product gets deposited between the materials, which act as an abrasive and further compromises the metal. Fretting corrosion is most common on aluminum, stainless steel, and titanium alloys. The best remedy for fretting corrosion is to reduce the friction by tightening the joint or by adding lubricant. Crevice corrosion occurs when a crevice or depression allows an electrolyte to pool. Crevices typically occur around gasket surfaces, lap joints, and under fasteners, for example. Steps to minimize this type of corrosion include closing the crevice, sealing, and the use of non-absorbent gaskets, or CPCs. Pitting corrosion is a highly localized form of corrosion that results in holes or pits in the metal. The pits can be isolated or so close together the overall surface of the metal can look rough. The pits can often be difficult to detect because they can be very small and may be covered with corrosion product. A common indicator of pitting corrosion is in the form of white or gray powder dots on the metal surface. Stainless steel, aluminum, magnesium, and copper are prone to pitting corrosion. Intergranular or exfoliation corrosion is an attack on the grain boundaries of the metal. Left untreated, intergranular corrosion leads to exfoliation corrosion, where the metal is completely compromised and the grains of the metal are lifted up or separated by the force of the corrosion. Extruded, rolled, wrought, and high-strength aluminum and magnesium are subject to this type of corrosion. Stress corrosion cracking is the intergranular or transgranular cracking of a metal due to stress on the metal and weakening due to corrosion. The metal is generally not under corrosive attack over the majority of the part, but cracks progress through the interior of the part. High-strength steel and aluminum parts, magnesium alloys, and some titanium alloys are particularly susceptible to stress corrosion and cracking. Corrosion is costly, but preventable. With the proper amount of diligence and understanding, billions of Army dollars can be saved.